mikono yako tunabudu Bwana. Tunapoenda kuabudu Bwana, kumwambia kwamba anastahili hakuna mwingine kama yeye. Inua tu kinywa chako, fungua kinywa chako, mwambie Bwana ninakuabudu siku ya leo. Hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Ni wewe tu unastahili siku ya leo. Hakuna mwingine wa kuabudiwa ni wewe tu. Hakuna mwingine wa kumpenda asudhu ya leo ila ni wewe tu Bwana. Hatuna mwingine wa kuabudu ni wewe tu yes. Tunakuabudu wewe. Ah baba, tunakuabudu hakuna mwingine ni wewe tu. Unastahili kuabudiwa. Unastahili kupewa sifa Yesu. Oh. Wewe tu ndiwe Bwana. Utukufu wote ni wako siku ya leo. Tunakuabudu. Utukufu na Yesu Bwana. Ni zako yawe. Ni zako usiyesindwa. Utukufu na Yesu Bwana. Ni zako yawe. Ni zako usiyesindwa. Mamlaka yote hapa duniani. Na kule mbinguni ni yako usiyesindwa. Sauti yako mpe bwana utukufu wote ni wako ni zako Yesu mazote ni zako Yesu ni zako
sauti yako mwambie bwana asubuhi ya leo ni wewe tu wakupewa sifa na utukufu wote ni wewe tu bwana wakuabudu asubuhi ya leo ni wewe tu mfande hatuna mwingine ni wewe tu bwana wakuabudu wakupewa sifa ni wewe tu asubuhi ya leo bwana asubuhi ya leo tuko mahali hapa kukuabudu tuko mahali hapa kukuletea sifa na ibada zetu asubuhi ya leo tuko mahali hapa kusikia kutoka kwako siku ya leo Tuko mahali hapa kupokea kutoka kwako mfalme. Ili sisi tukae wa relevance katika generation yetu. Tunakuabudu wewe tu bwana wetu. Wewe tu niwe Mungu hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Wakuabudiwa wakupewa sifa ni wewe tu Yesu. Wakupewa utukufu na mamlaka yote ni wewe tu bwana. Tunakuabudu asubuhi ya leo tunakuenzi tunakuheshimu. Tunakuinamia hakuna mwingine wa kusujudiwa ni wewe tu. Tunatangaza kwamba wewe ni Mungu wa sudu ya leo. Tunatangaza kwamba wewe ni Bwana wa sudu ya leo. Wewe tu wa kuabudiwa Mungu wetu. Wewe tu wa kupewa sifa na utukufu wote. Wewe tu ni wewe wasahili ya sudu ya leo. Wewe tu wasahili yes. Unastahili kuabudiwa wewe. Unastahili kupewa sifa bwana Uketie juu sana wasahili we Unastahili kuabudiwa Unastahili kuabudiwa Tazama jeshi lote la mbinguni la sujudu mbele zako La si hapa duniani tunakusujudia Tukisema wasahili Mtakatifu mtakatifu ni we Unastahili kuabudiwa Abudu tu bwana asudu ya leo Kama ishara ya kunyenyekea mbele zake na matu mbele zake mwambie bwana ninakuabudu Uketie juu sana kwenye kitu cha enzi ninakuinamia asudu ya leo Ninakusujudia ninakuabudu asudu ya leo Ninashuka chini sana wewe ukainuliwa asudu ya leo Ninashuka chini wewe ukainuliwa asudu ya leo. Ninadidimia sana wewe ukaonekana asudu ya leo. Tunakuabudu Yesu. Tunaina mbele ya kiti chako. Mbele ya kiti chako cha enzi tunakusujudia. Mfalme mkuu ni wewe. Mfalme wa mfalme bwana wa mabwana ni wewe tu. Unasahili kuabudiwa Yesu. Hakuna mwingine wa kuabudiwa ni wewe tu. Tunakuabudu Yesu. Tunaleta shukurani zetu mbele zako. Tunaleta na ibada yetu mbele zako. Tunaleta na sala zetu mbele zako asubuhi. Wewe uketie juu sana na ni mwingine kama wewe. Wewe uliyekuwa tangu kabla ya misingi ya dunia na ni kama wewe. Jehova Elohim tunakuabudu. Jehova Mungu mkuu tunakusujudia asubuhi ya leo. Tunasema ya wewe ni wewe tu. Tunasema ya wewe ni wewe tu wasahili. Kupewa sifa na utukufu wote Wasahili sifa zote yes Tunakuabudu Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Ni wewe tu wasahili sifa Oh Ni wewe tu ni wewe tu Tunakuabudu tu Abudu tu bwana asudu ya leo Kwa uzuri wa utakatifu wake muabudu tu asudu ya leo Tunakuabudu tu yes Ni wewe tu wasahili kuabudiwa Ni wewe tu wasahili na heshima Ni wewe tu Ni wewe tu Bwana hakuna mwingine wa kuabudu wa sudu ya leo ila tu ni wewe. 
Hatuna mwingine wa kusujudia wa kuishia asubuhi ya leo ila tu ni wewe. Our trust is in you this morning, O oh Lord. Our confidence is in you, you who are alone, O oh Lord, our God. Tunakuabudu tu. Hatuna mwingine ni wewe tu wastahili sifa. Kwa kupewa sifa na utukufu wote ni wewe tu. Hakuna mwingine ni wewe tu Yesu. Unastahili Bwana. Unastahili heshima zote. Kila mmoja mikono juu kwa Bwana asubuhi ya leo. Kama ishara ya kumuabudu, kama ishara ya kumheshimu asubuhi ya leo. Mwinulie tu Bwana mikono yako. Tukulipe na nini kwa matendo yako? maisha ni mwetu kwa wema wako mkuu ndani ya maisha yetu kwa uaminifu wako tukulipe na nini ya subuhi ya leo ila tunakuletea tu ibada ya mbele zako tunaleta na shukurani zetu mbele zako zipuke utukufu wote tunakupa asubuhi ya leo tunakupa utukufu wote Yesu Hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Wewe ni Bwana. Wewe ni mwema. Unastahili peke yako Yesu. Unastahili peke yako Yesu. Tunakuabudu we Yesu we. Hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Ni watu mikono kwa Bwana asubuhi ya leo. Bahari inakutia asubuhi ya leo. Wewe Mungu mkuu milima inatetemeka kwa sauti yako. Wafalme wote wa dunia hii wanatetemeka kwa ukuu wako. Wewe ni Mungu peke yako. Hakuna lililo gumu kwako asubuhi ya leo. Hakuna lile usiloweza Yesu. Tunakuabudu Mungu mkuu, tunakuabudu Mungu mkuu. Hakuna mwingine ni wewe tu. Tunakuabudu. Yesu. Bahari ya kuti milima ya tetemeka kwa sauti ya kutu mumbaji wa vyote Bahari ya kuti milima ya tetemeka kwa sauti ya kutu Mumbaji wa vyote Nini bwana wangu Lililo gumu kwako Yote unaweza Mumbaji wa vyote Nini ni bwana wangu Lililo gumu kwako Yote unaweza Mumbaji wa vyote Bahari ya kuti Bahari ya kuti Milima ya tetemeka Milima ya tetemeka Kwa sauti ya kutu Kwa sauti ya kutu Mumbaji wa vyote Mumbaji wa vyote Bahari ya kuti Bahari ya kuti Milima ya tetemeka Sauti ya kutu Mbazi wa vyote Mbazi wa vyote Nini ni ilo buwana Nini buwana wangu Lili logu mkwako Lili logu mkwako Yote unaweza Yote unaweza Mbazi wa vyote Mbazi wa vyote Nini ni buwana wangu Nini buwana wangu Lili logu mkwako Yote unaweza 
Tunatangaza kwamba hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Ya kwamba wewe ni mkuu sana Bwana, wewe ni mkuu. Na hakuna lile lusiloweza hata siku hii ya leo. Ndani ya maisha yetu kama vijana tunatangaza siku ya leo hakuna lile usiloweza. Tunakuinua, tunakutukuza Bwana. Asubuhi ya leo tunajiwasilisha kwako. We surrender to you Lord. Ya kwamba ukanena na mioyo yetu ukatufunza kama vile umetuandalia siku ya leo. Kwa sababu wewe haujawahi kuwakusanya watu wako bure. Na hata siku ya leo uko na neno kwa ajili yetu. Na tunalipokea kwa shukurani. Na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Aleluya. Amen. Haya pe bwana makofi mazuri sangwe na vigelegele kwa Yesu. Amen. Amen. Aleluya. Tunaweza kukedi kwa sababu Mungu amekuwa ni mwaminifu. Wakati tunaona wengine wanaweza kuingia, tunawaambia Mungu ni asante. Kwa hivyo ninataka tuingie kipindi hicho kingine, ambia mwenzako kuwa tayari. Ehe, hebu akuonyeshe kama alibeba kitabu na bairo yake. Si tulikuja conference ya vijana. Eh, nataka tuone notebook zetu na bairo. Eh, hata mimi niko na yangu. Unaona hata mimi nimebeba karamu yangu na notebook yangu pale. Hebu tuone inua ya, kama uko nayo yako inua juu. Aha, na siku hizi nasikia wa, wanasema nyinyi ni mabazu, mabazenga. Nani ambaye yako na ni iPad ama ni tablet? Nani yako na tablet? Ana, anaandika kwa tablet. Manzi Amuna kakit tablet. Haya notebook. Aha, wa notebook wako. Nani yako na simu? Eh? Murika Mwizi. Murika Mwizi naweza andika notes. Sawa, tunashukuru Mungu. I want us to put our hands together. Ah. Uh, kwa sababu ninajua Eh? Aha, asante. Ah, uh, meanwhile, before we get to, to that, wacha tuone watu wangorika, wale wamefika ngorika. Watu wangorika wamefika ba, bado, wangorika wamefika. Aha. Ngorika ni mbali. Unajua nyinyi hamjai enda ngorika, ni mbali sana, ni mbali sana. Na hiyo hiyo ni team A. Sema team A. Bado team B. Team B inakuja. Nao ndio massive. Wako massive wanakuja. Aha, tuone watu wa wa tuanze na wasiti ama wa uku. haya tuone watu wa, wa wapi wa altar of worship eh watu wa altar of worship green state watu wa green state watu wa green state wale wamefika aha sitwa chapia makofi aha najua hiyo tu ni team A Eh, bado team B ama hiyo ni team B hapana hiyo ni team A wanakaa team A ukiangalia vizuri wanakaa hao ndio team A asante tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yenu watu wa blankets siku hizi wanajiita Mount Zion Mount Zion watu wa Mount Zion aha si tuwapigie makofi sana nyinyi hamjai ona factory hao wana wa, factory ziko all around them eh watu wa blankets asanteni sana aha watu wa gani tena Aha, watu wana kuru central Shabab Hawa wanatokaga inje na slippers Kwa sababu kwa yote ni carpet ya lami Watu wa shabab Watu wa shabab wa simame Aha. Si tuwapigia makofi We unakata kupiga ukijua kwenye matope vile ni mingi Tuwapigia vizuri Aha, Asanti, asanti Aha, Na tunaendelea vizuri Kuna watu wa, wa, wa gani wengine tumeacha Locos Eastgate najua wengi hawajafika Eastgate uh, wale wamefika Eastgate wa Eastgate uh, Steve si wewe ulikuwa wa Eastgate wakati nilikuacha aha tunashukuru Mungu na tunajua kwamba wengine wako njiani wana, wanakuja aha tunashukuru Mungu kwa hivyo nilitaka tusimame juu tusimame juu na tafadhali usikae huko nyuma wewe umekuja mapema sana 
kuja mbele ili wale watakuja last tutajua hao wamekuja wamechelewa ndio sasa hata tukianza na, na kupeana zawadi tutaanza tutaanza hapa mbele sasa wewe kaa huko nyuma ulikuja mapema tukianza kupeana zawadi itaisha kama ijafika huko nyuma sasa ni vizuri tusonge mbele tusonge mbele uh, tusimame tusimame uh, vizuri hivyo tusimame tusonge mbele ah thank you thank you usikubali kukaa nyuma na ulikuja mapema sana usikubali usikubali alafu wakati na wa, ule anapeana zawadi anzia hapa alafu ishe kama wewe hujapata na vile uliji sacrifice mapema nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yenu na tunaendelea vizuri sana asante now I want us to stand up to stand up let us stand up let us stand up let us stand up aha na tupige makofi tumkaribishe overseer atukaribishie mwalimu wetu wa siku ya leo let us celebrate him with a better club we can do better than that let us celebrate him aha let us celebrate him amen 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 asante sana we thank god for you asante ni sana hey. Thank, thank you, you Obasi. Thank you, thank you, Asante. thank you. Thank you Pastor Martin. Bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Hii viti mmewashia nani? Hii. Kwa nini mnakaa mnawapa hii viti za mbele? Au kuna kitu mlifanya shule? Nzuri mtuambie saa hii. Kuna kitu mlifanya shule. Uta uta utasahemewa tu siku ya leo. So tengeneza hiyo microphone so thank you ah uh, nimeshukuru kwa ajili ya nataka wale wanaandika na ule mtu amekaa pale kwa mlango tangu ni unaitwa nani ule kijana wewe unaitwa nani wewe unaangalia nje wewe wewe we. nimekuona kwa mlango hapo huyo pasa huyo nilimwona kwa mlango nani huyo huyo anaandika nilimwona karibu dakika 40 Simusaidie. So thank you. Mungu abariki sana kwa kufika a uh, conference ya leo. Sijui kwa nini watu wamechelewa. Tulikuwa tumekubaliana na watu wafike mapema. Eh, vijana mmeshelewa sana 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 sana. So tulikuwa tumekubaliana na watu wafike mapema ili at least tuwe na session kadhaa ya kusoma. Lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu mmefika siku ya leo. Kabla sijaendelea naomba kwamba tukiwa na mshugaji Pastor Maina umetoka upande wa Masaini ijoba ya kwamba waweze kusalimia. Hii mkutano wa vijana. Waweze kuwasalimia. Mpatiwe microphone. Pastor Maina ili aweze kusalimia. Tunaweza musikia sauti yake. Unajua mmezoea kujua sauti ya Pastor the late Pastor Litayani Masai. So kuna Masai mwingine. So ni mzuri nimesikia sauti yake mchiza tumpigie makofi tupigie makofi thank you haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya eh nisalimie namna hiyo inao mkono wako nisalimie juu bwana yesu asifiwe vijana mpo eh vijana sikilizo wamekuwa baridi vijana mpo sauti kuliko hiyo vijana mpo bwana yesu asifiwe Ah nataka nishukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kunipa nafasi ya kufika hapa. Nimetoka Kajiado. Mahali panaitwa Loitoktok kwa wale wanasikia na nimebarikiwa na Bwana. Na ninashukuru Mungu kwamba nimepokelewa na ofasia. Na leo akaniambia kuna mkutano wa vijana. Nikatamani kufika ili na mimi nisikie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Maana kila wakati tunajifunza. Halo? Kila wakati tunajifunza tukiwa shuleni tunajifunza tukiwa hapa kanisani tunajifunza kwa sababu maisha kila wakati tunafanya nini tunajifunza kwa ruhusa ya ovasia nilitaka nisome mstari mmoja wa biblia kwenye kitabu cha izaya uh, 48 mstari wa 17 kama unaweza andika ni vizuri isaya 48 mstari wa 17 inasema bwana mkombozi wako mtakatifu wa israeli asema hivi mimi ni bwana mungu wako nikufundishaye ili upate faida ni kuongozae kwa njia ikupasayo kuifuata Bwana Yesu asifiwe tuko hapa kwa faida usione kwamba tumefika hapa kwa hasara tuko hapa kwa faida hakikisha umetoka na faida hapa salimia kijana jirani yako mwambie hakikisha umetoka na faida 
Eh, usitoke na hasara. Kila wakati unapokuwa mbele za Mungu uhakikisha umetoka na nini? Na faida. Asante. Bwana wabariki. So thank you to Bima Coffee. Thank you Mungu akubariki sana. Kwa neno ya kututia moyo. Maandiko inasema kitabu ya First John chapter 2 verse 14. Na kama kuna kitu kinanifurahisha kani hiyo maandiko. Nakumbuka nikiwa kijana nilikuwa naisoma kila wakati naisoma. First John chapter 2 verse 14. Especially B. Lakini A inasema hivi. I write to you dear children because you have known the father. Yes. Number two, ikasema, I lie to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning. So, ile inanifuraishanga na inipatia uwakikisho, the assurance is for the young men. I'm lying to you young men. One, because you are strong. Two, the word of God live in you. And three, you have overcome the evil one. Hawa wengine hawajaambiwa. Fathers hawajaambiwa. Children hawajaambiwa. But the young men, the word, you are strong. The word of God is in you. You have overcome the evil one. So unless vijana mujipoteze. Mujipote. Mwasikia? Unless mufanya nini? Yeye nyinyi mjitoteze, mjipoteze tu kwa kupenda. Lakini tumepatiwa assurance with the word of God that we are strong. We can go. We can mount. We can sing. Yes, because we are strong. And the word of God, who is his God is in us. So no matter the challenges, no matter what the world say, but one thing that I know we are strong and the word of God is in our hearts. Na tumepatua assurance that you are the overcomers. No matter the obstacles, no matter the challenges in, our, in the, the days that we are living, one thing that we know, we will overcome the evil one. So thank you to Jipigi Amakofi kwa jiri ya kukuja. Thank you, may God bless you. For this new day, thank you for your presence. Kama muge kuja, atuke kuwa na huu. So, tuwa shukuru sana. Kama vile muna ujua, inapango wa kila mwaka mkutano wa vijana. To God, we expect vijana regi. We are hoping wanaendelea kukuja. So, today, we thank God uh, for even for the Pastor Martin, who is your leader. Na tumekuwa na yeye, tukipanga hii, na also the other readers. Na today, Tukawa na one of my friends. Tumejuana for many years from all the way from Kampala. Kwa msoven. Najua tumejua, tumejua msoven mana. Wakati wote na mwalete pisha ya msoven. Wanaete mangobe ikona ma, na nini. Na mapembe kubwa sana. So is uh, another P.H. William. He is a pastor. Also he is an engineer. So ni mutu wa mesoma. Mugu membariki. So mzuri musikie hijinia, vile ya mesoma, vile ya meendelea, vile ya mwusaidia. Na vile ya saidia, sisi kama vijana, sisi sawa. Na uba tumpigia makofi ya nae kuja kushia nasi. Thank you, pastor. May God bless you. May God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Karibu sana. Amen. Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you so much, uh, Reverend. And uh, I'm really so excited to be here. Amen. And I'll take this as an opportunity to thank each one of you for coming. But more so, I want to thank our leaders. Uh, my brother Martin, thank you so much. And the team behind you for organizing the young men and women so that we can be here together. Hallelujah. Amen. And thank you so much, uh, Papa uh, Reverend, for even giving me the opportunity to stand on this altar. I don't take it lightly. I don't take it lightly. 
I take it as a great opportunity and I, I give God the glory. Thank you so much for allowing us even to pour ourselves to the young men and women that came today. Amen. Are you, are you ready for today? Our pastor here from Kajado has just read us a powerful statement. Isaiah, don't tell us. Which scripture has he read? Ah, uh, you, you are the one, you, the one behind there. Which scripture did our pastor read us from Kajado? Hey! You have forgotten. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is Isaiah 48. Amen? Verses 18. And the scripture is very powerful. It says, I am the Lord your God, your Redeemer. Hallelujah. And he says, I teach you to prosper. Glory to God. Other version says to benefit. Glory to God. And he says, every time you come in the presence of God, don't go bila faida. Hallelujah. Ostoke bila faida. Praise the Lord. Akisha omechukua iyo yako no meenda nayo. Praise the Lord. Because whatever God has in store for you is for you. Uh -uh, tell your neighbor, whatever God has in store for me is for me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the Lord is good. Amen. Before I start, amen. I'm by name H.P. Williams. But before you know my name, Akisha Akuna Kiti Mbeleyako Iko empty beside these ones. Amen. So if you see a white chair in front of you and it's empty, occupy it. Can we do that in a minute? You see a kitty in front of you, it's white, empty, no one is there, occupy it. <laughs> Still people are afraid of the kitties in front here. No one is there, occupy it, please. My brother, no one is there. Occupy it. As young men and women, we need to learn. The Bible says, Occupy until I come. Occupy until I come. You need to learn to take. Amen? The kingdom of God has a condition. I call it a disease, Rev. This disease is called violence. The violent take it. They don't ask. In this world, child of God, there is no one who will wake up and, gives you, and give you a million dollars. No one will wake up and say, wow, you're looking nice, and it gets into their wallet, and they bless you. No. We grab it by force. The force is faith. Praise the Lord. We take advantage by faith. Amen. So never think anyone will tell you to leave the tail and come to be the head. Some of us to melelewa usha go. Kitu tunajua ni mashamba. Praise the Lord. So akuna, ak, you, you are nobody there. How are you going to take your place among those that God calls his great people. Amen. Yet wo mezoea kuka nyuma. Kila sa wo ni nyuma. We ni muti. Look behind you. Do you enjoy everything that comes out behind you? Hallelujah. Even when you go somewhere in the other office, you drop it, you run away. You can't spend time there. Why? Because nothing behind is good. So, osizoe sana kukaa nyuma. Amen. Osizoe sana kukaa nyuma. Every time you sit behind, there is something you will always miss. 
I tell you because I've been there. Amen. I've been there. I have a record of sitting behind. And I know matokeo ya kukanyuma. Hallelujah. Have you ever woken up, my brother? Uh, remind me, Pastor Peter. Have you ever uh, been into a situation where everyone knows your position? Wanajua position yako. That when you step in, they just know, ah, this one, this is their position. Even when you dress your best, they still take you to your position. They even think, they begin to suspect you. When you put on your best, they say, ah, kitu gani metendeka? Eh? Isu vitu alitoa wapi? Ameomba nani? You know, they, they will begin to ask you. Some will even be bored. Wakuje kwako wakulize. Nani alikusaidia? Eh? Ha. Because leo, by the way, ukuona alusi. Yet it's Monday. But they think there is, because they have never thought you in that position. Hallelujah. There is a young man in the Bible. He comes and someone tells him, I have seen Jesus. Praise the Lord. And this guy says, Jesus, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good? Because this guy had settled in their mind that there is nothing good that can come out of that village. Like they know about you. There is nothing good that can come out of you. Praise the Lord. But you are here to disappoint them. Thank God we have gathered here. Praise the Lord. To disappoint those that had concluded on us that we are totally nobody. Hallelujah. We are somebody. Tell your neighbor, I am someone. I carry a treasure. The treasure of heaven. And I'm on my journey. Uh -uh. Speak to somebody, child of God. Even if you have not taken tea. Hallelujah. But uh, the place looks good. Amen. At least, hakuna vumbi hapa. Praise the Lord. Uh, kiti yomekalia iko sawa. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I shake them like this. My sister, you're not shaking anyone. You're holding your hands. Amen. Shake your neighbor. Shake your neighbor. Shake your neighbor. Shake them by the shoulder. Tell them, neighbor, don't be called on me. Don't become the disappointment in my today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I want us to read a few scriptures. Amen. And uh, you're going to be blessed. Glory to God. Uh, the guy on the keyboard, you can help us if you're there. Amen. Let's begin by complimenting what our pastor, uh, Pastor Peter, and uh, our overseer have just read to us. But uh, let's begin by reading a portion of scripture in the book of Psalms. Psalms uh, 68 verses 19. Psalms 68 verses 19 and verses 20. Psalms 68 verses 19 and verses 20. Hallelujah. I'm going to go slow in the next uh, we are still have like 25 minutes. Praise the Lord. So allow me to go slow. Amen. But steady because I want you to capture something all I need is your attention. I want your response. Amen. I want your amen. I want your hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want your excitement. I want you to be in the house. Praise the Lord. I want you to know that you're in the house of your father. Praise the name of the Lord. And you're not seated next to a witch. Glory to God. Or a wizard. Or your hater. Amen. You're not seated next to what we call nowadays our ex. Praise the Lord. So the person next to you is not your ex. is your brother. is your sister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 68 
and verses 19 says, Blessed be the Lord. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Who daily loads us with benefits. Hallelujah. That's what my brother Peter has just read. Praise the Lord. Uh, in Isaiah uh, 48 verses 18. It says, blessed be the Lord who daily. If you have your Bible, you can mark that word daily. Kila siku. Praise the Lord. Daily, he loads us with what? Benefits. Anatujaza na faida. Kila siku. Praise the Lord. Now, I've been meditating on this portion of scripture and I came to understand when you read Psalms 90 and verses 4, the scripture says a thousand years to God is just a day. Praise the Lord. So, to you, what you call a day, to God, it is not even a second. Praise the Lord. So when a thousand years to God is a year, praise, a day, praise the Lord. And here this portion of scripture is telling us, he daily loads us. So you can break it down into moments. Hallelujah. You can break it down into seconds or minutes. Praise the Lord. You can break it down into microseconds. That means God is so mindful of you that there is no single moment that can pass without him releasing a benefit over your life. Hallelujah. He cannot pass a second without releasing something. Something called a benefit, it simply means it is for help. Kitu enaenda kusaidia. Praise the Lord. But you see, if you don't need help, you may not recognize help. Like so many young people, we think we know. Hallelujah. We think we have understood it all. We think our pastor here, Reverend, is an old version. We are in a generation we call Z. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A generation that is totally different. So we are digital. We, we know it before you know it. Praise the Lord. And when you walk with that mindset, you will always miss the benefits, the wisdom, the guidance, the counsel. Hallelujah. The things that will make you prosper in your youth. Glory to Jesus. I know some of us, we see ourselves as young and we say, I cannot drive a Range Rover like our, our pastor. Because you think you're too young. But I tell you, child of God, with God, hallelujah, there is nothing like I am young. He called Jeremiah when he was a boy. David was anointed when he was a boy. He was Listen, child of God, God is not interested at how old you are. He knew you before you stepped into your mother's womb. Hallelujah. So, it is up to us now to understand that there is something that God is up to. So that we prepare ourselves, we stage ourselves, hallelujah, that when the benefits of God are being loaded over our lives, we are in position to prosper. We are in position to increase. We are in position to change our generation. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. The scripture says, blessed be the Lord. Why are we blessing the Lord today? Because he loads us. He loads us with benefits. Hallelujah. Anatupatia faida mingi sana. Kila sa. Glory to Jesus. 
It says, he loads us daily with benefits. And then he goes on to say, the God, our God. Uh, let me read it. Who daily loads us with benefits. The God of our salvation. Glory to God. So he's not just loading you with benefit, but he's also the God of your salvation. Hallelujah. Now look at the next verse. Look at verses 20. Glory to God. I love verses 20. It says, our God is a God who saves. Hallelujah. Our God is the God who saves. Give us Give it to us in uh, New King James. Praise the Lord. This is what New King James says. Our God is the God of salvation. It's like someone needs to hear it. Glory to God. That help, child of God, help is not coming from anywhere. No man can save you. Even your parents cannot save you. Even the person you have now chosen to become dear. My darling boyfriend. My darling girlfriend. Hallelujah. They cannot save you. Hallelujah. This portion of scripture tells us. Our salvation. God is our salvation. He's the one who can save us. That means. Our background cannot save us. The name our parents have made in the community where they are cannot save us. The things that have been established before we showed up cannot save us. Hallelujah. It's only God that can save you. Glory to Jesus. It says our God is our salvation. Our God is our salvation. Just repeat it with me. My God, I say it with power. Say, my God is my salvation. Hallelujah. In other words, I'm not looking for my neighbor to save me. I'm not looking for my academic to be saved. I'm not looking for my career to be saved. I'm not looking from my background to be saved. I put my trust in God for my salvation. Hallelujah. How can a young man change a generation? It's when they know that their salvation is not attached in the physical things around them, but in God. Hallelujah. That's when a young man can take over. David came before Goliath. And he said, you come to me with swords and pangas and a great army behind you. But I come to you in the name of God. Because I know my salvation is my God. Hallelujah. Your swords cannot save you. Your shields cannot save you. Hallelujah. Actually, that very day, David spoke to Goliath and he said, Young, listen man, you've been fighting since your youth. There are young men and women that have been fighting since their youth. And now experience has entered here, Pastor Peter. Ask yourself, how many young people we have lost? Because I lost a friend of mine, a very dear friend of mine. She's a daughter to a pastor. Very good. Actually a bishop in western Kenya. A very powerful young girl. She just died a few uh, years ago. I think two years ago. How? Because she came to a conclusion that she knows how to maneuver through. Hallelujah. She went to school. I first knew her when she's in Makerere University. And there she could do anything. Live with anyone. Have boyfriends. They dump her. She gets another one. Because the parents are in Kenya. They can't reach there. On Sunday she puts on the longest cloth. 
she looks more beautiful. Hallelujah. When she goes, she finished college, uh, university. She got a job in Kitale. She knew I'm far from my parents. I can still continue with my lifestyle. So in that same lifestyle, she kept getting pregnant and aborting. She gets pregnant and aborts. One remained. She could not abort. So she gave birth to a daughter. And the parents, because they didn't know how to teach her. Hallelujah. That her salvation is God. The parents didn't know how to train her in the ways of God. That it's only God that can lead your footstep. It's only God that can help you be delivered from this condition. They did. They said, bring our granddaughter. We can take care of, of her. You go do your business. So she went. The next time, she's with a rasta somewhere. Glory to God. And before you know, in the night, she decided to poison herself and die. She had come to this reality. I know it. Experience has told me. If I escaped the other one, I will escape this one. If I escaped this one, I lied here and it was okay. I can lie here and it will be okay. Hallelujah. Listen, child of God, they always say the days of a thief are 40. When the 40 days is done, your days are done. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to you because I don't want us to make the same mistakes. I want us to understand our salvation is God. Hallelujah. Not experience. That young boy you have in your life is a lie. Somebody should hear me. That's why a man comes only from one person. Because you have trusted her. This is what they say. Oh, they come cry. You see, I gave her my heart. Now my heart is broken. Oh, okay. Give your heart to Jesus. Don't give it to your boyfriend. Don't give it to your girlfriend. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because your salvation is God. Hallelujah. Your salvation is God. Your salvation is God. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to see something. Hebrews 12, verses 2. If time allows, we shall go to verse 3. But it is something big. Glory to Jesus. Are you there? Hebrews 12 and verses 2. I know we know this portion, this portion of scripture. But allow me to go a little bit slow on this one. Praise the Lord. Looking unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Doing what? Looking unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. It says, I want you to keep looking. Can we read it together? Number one, one, two, three, we go. Looking. The author and the finisher of our faith. You can stop there. Praise the Lord. It says, looking unto Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Now, when you see that word looking, it's not telling you to look once. It's not telling you to look twice. Praise the Lord. It's not telling you to look in the morning and forget in the afternoon. Praise the Lord. It's not telling you to look when danger has come. It's not telling you to look when you need help. Hallelujah. He's telling you keep looking. Keep looking. Hallelujah. 
and he gives you specific place to look to. Glory to Jesus. He tells you where to look. He says, don't look in your academic failure. Some of us, we are deep. Hey, great. Praise the Lord. We, 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 the English we are speaking, we are, we are trying. You speak better than us. Praise the Lord. We, we are trying. So if I keep looking on my academics, I'm going to write CVs. And I walk around. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I'm thinking my academics is my salvation to make it in life. The scripture is telling us, looking unto... Uh -uh, I can't hear you. Looking to who? Has he put your parents there? Has he put your mama there? Has he put your father there? Is your uncle there? The other rich, rich uncle you know, is he there? Who is there? Jesus. Our God is our what? Ah, children of God, I can't hear you. Our God is our? Hallelujah. He's telling us that no one, no one can help you. Stop looking at them. Start looking at Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. It says looking unto Jesus. Looking. God is so specific. He knows where you can receive your deliverance. He knows where you can receive your healing. He knows where you can receive permanent help. He knows where you can receive solution. He knows how you can be delivered from lust. He knows how you can be delivered from pornography. He knows how you can be delivered from insecurity and fear. He knows he is telling you looking unto Jesus is the only solution to your life. Hallelujah. I'm not going to look at everything. Thank God for everything. Hallelujah. Even my pastor can be there. Thank God for my pastor. In other words, before I come to my pastor and say, Pastor, pray with me. I'm not going to tell pastor to pray for me. I'm telling pastor, pray with me. Why? Because I'm already looking. I'm already looking at Jesus. So all I need is agreement with you, pastor. Because I'm tired of my situation. I'm tired of my condition. Hallelujah. I'm looking unto Jesus. Glory to Jesus. That word to look simply means to gaze. Keep gazing. Gazing is like when I'm some mad person. Hallelujah. You, you have ever seen a mad person looking at something like this? He's not moving. Then if you pass, he's not interested. He's just gazing. And sometimes you gaze on something and you begin smiling alone. And they say, ah, I'm on a ketugan. Have you ever been in such a situation? That deep in your mind, deep in your mind, you saw something interesting and you began laughing. You're smiling alone and everyone is telling. Have you ever met people talking to themselves? Ah, you, you stay in another world. You, you don't stay where I stay. I've met people, even myself, sometimes, Najipatanga kwa balabala natembea. I'm just talking to myself. I'm just talking to myself. And uh, everyone is wondering, eh, anaongea na nani? Hakuna muntu, eh? physically. But uh, there is the one I'm looking at. It's the one I'm talking to. Hallelujah. That's the word gazing, gazing, looking, gazing. In other words, you're too much taken by what you're seeing that you're not interested of what is around. Praise the name of the Lord. The excitement is not taking you. 
Listen, child of God, young people, there is so much excitement around us that wants our attention. Young man, seated to a young, young, beautiful lady. Let me ask you, why do you think that young lady has dressed the way she has dressed? Back in her mind, she wanted to look beautiful. Isn't it? But when you investigate her beauty, that thought you will discover also she needed attention. Hallelujah. She needed to be attended to. That young boy you see is dressed the way they are dressed. You know, shaggy, you know, with buggies. And uh, even they try to change the way they are talking. Yeah, what's up, man? You know, the way they are talking, you know. They are trying to capture your attention. And when they capture your attention, your attention leaves Jesus. You stop looking at Jesus. You begin looking at them. Hallelujah. Have you ever been around a club where they are watching Arsenal? Our rev here used to run. Praise the Lord. Me too, I used to run, but not like him. He is more faster than me. Praise the Lord. Me, I used to run in schools. Kidog, kidogo. Glory to God. But listen, child of God. You know, when you're running alone, Rev can tell us, you're running alone. You know, ah, even Akuna Afraha, you know, you call that jogging, you know. You're just, you know. But when you're on the peak, you're running on the peak. And there is a crowd there. Hallelujah. They are saying, yes. Hey, our man, our man. You know, you even on a jikaza venif nguve meisha on a sema, ah, I can't fail them. Acha nijikaze. Hallelujah. Why? Because now you're not just running to win a gold. Ah, ah, you also have attention. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. If if you're seated next to people that love football and Arsenal or Man U scores, the way they shout, you will want to go see who has just won a trophy. Yet no one. Actually, after they shout, they go back in their poverty and they are sick. The things that wants your attention is not that they have a destiny. They are going nowhere. And they also want you to go nowhere. The things the devil has put in the way in your school, on your phone, hallelujah, uh, in your friend's mind, in the people you called, you love, in my buddies, my clique, my group, hallelujah. Those people are going nowhere. And they also want you to go nowhere. So when they manage to steal your attention from Jesus, they will settle you in their group. As a young man, you need to change your levels. Hallelujah. You need to change your levels. Sometimes just wake up and go sit with Rev and just muulize tu maswali. If hakuna maswali uko nayo ka hapo chini, msikiza the one aongea kwa simu, the one anaka, the one anacheka na watu, wake up tu hapo. Omwangalie after umemwangalia umesema lesson yangu ya kwanza nimepata. You see the Bible says that young men, young men are the glory of God. But gray hair, old men is wisdom. So, how comes you have too much strength? Onaweza kubeba hiki to peke, but hakuna akiri. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Hakuna akiri. 
You have no wisdom. You have no understanding. Yet ukona nguvu. That's why tunatumiwa sana kufanya ma, maombele eh, zinaitwa aje migomo hizo maandamano things that are you end up in the jail you waste time you waste life some of us are killed there you have too much strength hakuna wisdom because wisdom is not with young men wisdom is with the elderly so by sitting down and observe my pastor, I'm observing the Jesus in my pastor. I'm looking at Jesus in my pastor. The character he has put inside him. The way he has made him to talk. The way he addresses people. The way he welcomes people. The way he honors people. The way he talks to people. I'm learning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David told his son Solomon and he said Solomon in all your getting get wisdom in all your getting get understanding Solomon you may have money you may have riches actually as your father I don't have there is nothing I don't have Niko na kila kitu pesa magari mashamba kila kitu niko nayo but kitu moja unahitaji Solomon unahitaji wisdom unahitaji understanding Hallelujah and he says if money comes no it will fly away but wisdom won't fly away Hallelujah so the Bible says, looking unto Jesus. Why? Because Christ has been made unto us wisdom. The more you keep looking at him, the more wiser you become. The more intelligent you become. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. You can only attract things in your life because of the lifestyle you have chosen to live. Praise the Lord. Just look at the chair next to you. Do you see flies there? Ah, I'm asking. Do you see flies there? Do you see the madudus in atembea tembea cockroaches there? Why? The place is clean. Leave it dirty. What will happen? Flies. Because of the lifestyle. Hallelujah. You choose to live a dirty lifestyle, you will attract flies. That's why warastawa na kuanga wabade wako. Waganja man, wabade wako. Watu hakuna akiri, hakuna muendele, hakuna... They don't even know what Yanzia wapi wanaenda wapi wako apo kuzunka zunguka hao ni warafiki wako Why because pia wewe umechagua kuishi maisha kama hiyo So you attract things according to the lifestyle you have chosen to live Birds of the same feathers fly together If you choose to stay with wise people you become wise even when you're fool Ask, ask, ask our reverend, our pastor here, when you made your first 10K or your first Pesa, Iokubo you make, were you in your village? You chose to work with different people, not with your village mate. Muulize watu alisoma nao wako wapi? Au alienda nao primary? Wako wapi? Wako ushago. Actually, if you go kwa ushago saa hii, onawapata menyo ingine ritoka. Wamekunyo wamelewa. He chose to become a different bird. He flew with the wise. He flew with the rich. He flew with the men who have understanding. Hallelujah. Ask yourself, why are you failing in class? Look in your company. They are also failures. Am I talking to somebody? 
I'm, I'm, I'm telling you who I was. I told you I used to sit behind. My position in class, I was number five from behind. It was a guarantee. No one could take my position. They knew. You see, in the class where I was, they used to read the first ten and the last ten. Glory to Jesus. So I was among the people they read. It was a guarantee. Hallelujah. At least my name was announced in the class among the first five from behind. Can you imagine? That's a great position. Hallelujah. At least there were four behind me. <laughs> and let me tell you, the four guys behind me, they were my best friends. I can even still remember their names. My best friends, my best friends. We used to steal with them. We, 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 we used to cut school. You know, you on a look fence. Munaenda kwa mashamba za watu, muna, munaiba fence, jackfruit. You know, matunda za watu, munaenda kwa shamba, muna, you know, muna chimba mahogo, muna kula. You come to class, you're just dozy. Because mumeka nyuma. You're dozing. And you think life is for people who are dozing. You're still young to doze at that age. You're still young to be counted among failures in that age. You're still young to be counted among nobody. Jesus was just beginning his ministry. And Nathanael is coming and he says, Is anything good that can come out of Nazareth? Because this Jesus you're talking about might be a crook. Because Nazareth has nothing good that comes out of it. He has already condemned an entire village. But Jesus, look at the disciples he chose. Uh -uh. He chose the wise. Those who were accountants, you know, they used to account money. The men of stature. There is no disciple Jesus chose that was a fool. No one, no one, even Judas Iscariot. Go read about Judas. Hallelujah. Judas, his father, was one of the richest God. Timotheus, he was one of the richest guys. Judas grew up in money. That's why Jesus told him, you can handle our account. Are you with me, child of God? Jesus chose men and women with wisdom, with understanding. Not fools. Why? Because he knew his background condemns him. Your background condemns you. Ah, you being an African, black skin, it condemns you. Now add on the village you come from. Kiwoto, Sijui Kagugube, somewhere. Eh? We have one called Muchanga near our place there. You know, Muchanga. Kila watu wamechanga nikiwa. Kupata muntu straight. Eh? Ningumu sana. Ten people who pass you. Nine point five. Ten people. Nine point five. That means even the tenth one. Amelewa kiasi. But see sana. If they have not kulewa. Wana tumia madawa za kulewa. Why? Because the place they come from has also condemned them. And you come from that village. You come from that village looking unto Jesus. Our salvation, God is our salvation. I'm not going to allow anyone to speak into my life if they don't qualify. You should qualify. You should have the wisdom of Jesus to speak into my life. Is somebody hearing me? Hallelujah. So if you need counsel, young girl, listen. Don't run to your girlfriend. Come to a man of God. Come to the woman of God. Tell them I'm struggling with this. 
They will give you guidance because they have the wisdom of God in them. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. <laughs> you know, we, we need even to stop because praise the Lord. You see, that word I've told you, it means gazing, it means seeing. Hallelujah. It also means believing. It means what? Let me read you two scriptures and we are done. Praise the Lord. This is the same scripture. It is just a combination of it. Numbers 21 verses 7 to 9. Numbers 21 verses 7 to 9. And then John chapter 3 verses 14. John 3 verses 14. Are you there? Numbers. Um, let me get my numbers here. We are in Numbers 21, verses 7. Numbers 21, verses 7 to 8. This is what the scripture says. Uh, giving you a scenario of what happened if you go back into the scriptures. Uh, these guys had sinned against God. They had spoken wrong against God and things were not working. So serpents came into the camp and they began biting them to death. Praise the Lord. And those serpents can mean anything. Hallelujah. They, that word serpent represents a lot of things. If we put it in today. For example, on your phone there is a serpent called a pornographic website. Praise the Lord. It's a serpent. It bites your destiny before you know. Hallelujah. It kills your destiny before you know. Before you even begin, your destiny is already destroyed. Hallelujah. It's a serpent. It is there to kill, to destroy your life. Amen. We have friends in our communities, in our lives that are serpents. Friends whose agenda is evil. They always tell you to do something wrong. They advise you to go against the people that are helping you. Praise the name of the Lord. Those are serpents. Glory to Jesus. We have a lot of things that we have allowed in our communities that are biting young people and destroying their lives. Glory to God. Why? Because we have sinned. How do you sin against God? By failing to look unto Jesus. If you take your eyes off Jesus, hallelujah, then you are sinning against God. If Jesus is not a priority in your life, is not everything in your life, then you are sinning against God. Praise the name of the Lord. So they had sinned against God and serpent came into the camp and they began biting them. And verses uh, 7 says, Numbers 21 verses 7, it says, Therefore the people came to Moses. They realized that there is a leader, there is a man who is always looking unto God. They came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Hallelujah. I want you to capture something there. Hallelujah. The people who are always looking unto Jesus, they are also men young men and women of prayer they are always found in the place of prayer hallelujah they are not just
people you're going to tell, Acha tuende hivi, waende. Ah ah, they will pray first. Hallelujah. To get direction. Glory to Jesus. They will need divine intervention. And the only way they can have divine intervention is through a place of prayer. As a young person, be a person of prayer. Then if it's five minutes, pray. Hallelujah. Then if it's two minutes, pray. Glory to Jesus. It is the little steps we take that will make a thousand miles in our lives. Glory to Jesus. That prayer of five minutes today, tomorrow, the other day, before the year ends, you will be praying for two hours. Before five years ends, you'll be praying for more than five hours. Why? Because Glory to Jesus. You're looking unto Jesus and so you're supposed to be in the place of prayer. Oh God, help me. I'm going to do my exams. Please help me. Hallelujah. That's simple prayer. Oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm going back home i'm leaving school we are going for holidays please god help me so that by the time i reach home i'm a good person i'm of help to my parents i'm going to help somebody also to catch up with their life that's a simple prayer it will not take you hours but you've prayed it hallelujah before you know now god is directing your life they came to Moses because Moses was looking unto God. Hallelujah. And Moses prayed for them. Look at this in verses 8. It says, then the Lord said to Moses, God did not speak to the people because they are not looking at him. The other thing you're going to pick that every time you keep looking at Jesus, you will not just be prayerful, hallelujah, but you will also be able to hear the voice of God in your life. Hallelujah. Moses was able to hear the voice of God. And God spoke to Moses and said, Make a fiery serpent and set it on the pole, and it shall be that everyone who is beaten... When he looks, mark that, when he does what? Looks at it shall live. Glory to God. All they had to do is to look. Praise the Lord. There is a third thing there we also pick. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus will not just make you prayerful. Hallelujah. Will not just also make you hear the voice of God. Mm -mm. But it will also make you live. Hallelujah. It will make you live. It will make you enjoy life. It will make your relationships better. It will make your life socially, financially, economic wise better. Hallelujah. Because you're looking unto Jesus. You will live. Glory to Jesus. And verses 9 says, So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on the pole. And, it, and so it was, if a serpent had bitten anyone, anyone, anyone. I love that. Anyone excludes where you're coming from. It excludes your name. It, your background is not involved. Praise the Lord. This is anyone. Who looks, praise the Lord, anyone beaten, when he looks at the bronze serpent, he will live. He will do what? Live. Now, I want us to pick it from there and see it in John, uh, John chapter 3 verses 14, as I finish, praise the Lord. John chapter 3 verses 14 and 15, I want you to see something there. This is what it says. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted. Have you seen that? He's quoting it from Numbers 21, verses 7 to 9. He's saying that same thing that happened in the days of Moses, so 
the son of man shall be what? Lifted. And verses 15 says, that whosoever believes in him should know what? Should not perish, but have eternal life. So, the change here, there he says, look, live. Hallelujah. Here he says, believe, live. Are you seeing it, child of God? So, believing is the same word to look. Looking unto Jesus simply means I'm believing in what God has spoken over my life through his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Listen, I used to be a troubled young boy. Very troubled. I was born with all conditions conditions you know hallelujah first of all the day i was born i was born under the bed in the house we never went to the hospital it was days of battle war in uganda praise the lord so my mom gave birth to me under the bed my father imagine he was in the house he didn't know someone was born You can, you can imagine Rev staying in the house with mom and you don't know that mom has given birth to a baby boy. Hallelujah. Yet you are living in the same house. It was early in the morning my father wakes up going to work and on the gate they are telling him, oh tell your dad there is a boy who came in the night. And then he came. And, you know, very amazing. He, he just called me, this boy shall be called William Wilberforce. Hallelujah. So I was given that name, William Wilberforce. I've already taken away Wilberforce. I'm H.P. Williams. Praise the Lord. Not Wilberforce. Glory to God. I'm not forcing anything from the carnal way. I'm forcing everything from the spiritual way. Hallelujah. And that was not all. I began getting sick and sick. I had trachoma, you know. I had uh, asthma, praise the name of the Lord. I had all fatal conditions. In the evening, Rev, they used to roll me in the mat, you know. Because I could vibrate like a, a vibrator. Every evening, they, no one knows what's the problem. Up to today, I don't know what was the problem. <laughs> I just vibrate. So they roll me in a mat. You know, um, uh, those carpets, you know. They roll me so that I can get warm. And they put me in the corner somewhere. They make sure I'm rolled well. Up to around 8 in the night. And then they come check on me to see whether I'm still alive. And I was still breathing. Hallelujah. In my family, when they went for a party anywhere, they never took me to any party. They never took me because they knew I can reach there and disappoint the family. My conditions were many. You reach there and you begin forming and they are saying, Ah, who you name Toto Wanani? And they would say, ah, you in the Ah, ah. So they never wanted that. They kept me in the house. The boy you see talking to you right now, he began talking well at the age of eight years. So age one, age two, age three, I was not talking, Brother Peter. I was, you tell me something, I, 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 I'm even wondering what you have said. Hallelujah. With all those conditions, when I entered class seven, I decided I need to change my eyes from looking at things that do not matter. I began looking at Jesus. Now I can speak English to people of the fallen language. 
Ah, I've written books, not once, not twice. Rev has written, has read some of my books. Listen, child of God, it, it has been a journey, but worth it. Ever since I chose to look at Jesus. Let's stand up on our feet. Because we need at least to enforce two minutes. Hallelujah. Rev, just two minutes. Just, just lift up your hands. There's someone on the keyboard there. Go parade. La suze compra nanda ya dakar ya barasu. Le suze prede compra da bazanta ya naka. Mak le heso so prede kar ya barasu ze kandeba. Just talk to God. Just talk to God. Just talk to God. Just talk to God in your own words. In your own words, just tell God. I've been focused on things that do not matter. I looked on my parents and thought, that's the help that I have. I looked at my background and thought, that is the help that I have. My CV, my academics. Uh -uh. But today I understand, God is my salvation. God is my salvation. I turn my gaze from the things that do not matter anymore. I set my gaze on Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. I thought friends would help me. But the more I trusted them, the more my life became bitter. The more my life was broken. The more I ended up in trouble. But today, Almighty Father, this conference will not leave me the same. I came here strategically because I needed a touch from you. I needed a touch from you. I needed a touch from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, talk to God, child of God. Speak to him. You're tired of being like I was. Number five from behind. Even the failures in your class, they know you as a failure. Even those that are failure in your village, they know you as a failure. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is a shift. You're getting out of that situation, of that mark that has been marked over your life as a failure. You're stepping into a new life, a life that God has designed for you. Through his son Jesus Christ, Oga Rossi Katayaka, Makayeda Bosuna Mandaya, Payato Shoko Payada, Rosin Manaketa Yanaka. Some of us we need to say, God, I need deliverance. I need deliverance. My eyes have seen naked women, my eyes have seen pornography, my eyes have seen people that were not supposed to be seen, and now I live in lust, and now I live in another life that is not supposed to be me deliver me oh God deliver me oh God from that spirit of immolarity from that spirit of pornography from that spirit of immolarity in the name of Jesus Christ oh God may my life be cleansed today may my life be made pure today may righteousness be my inheritance today in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, oh God, talk to God, child of God, Rosima Kateka Payato Suda Payanako Zakaya, because your last days to be number last in class has come to an end, your last days to be rejected has come to an end, your last days to watch pornography has come to an end, your last days to be called nothing has come to an end. Today, our eyes are on Jesus. Our eyes on Jesus. Our eyes is on Jesus. The Bible declares when I'm lifted up, I'll draw all men to myself. May God draw you to him. May God draw your desires to him. May God draw your will to him. May God draw your passions to him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Helao Sakataya. Just lift those hands in the presence of God and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, today, today. I refuse to be refused. I, refuse. I can't hear you say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. Today, today, I refuse, I refuse. To, be refused. to be refused. I reject, I reject. 
reject, to be rejected. To be rejected. I deny. I demand. To be denied. I unplug myself from all failures of life and I plug myself into Jesus. Now I know my God is my salvation. My God is my healer. My God is my deliverer. In the name of Jesus, I shall never, I shall never, 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 never ever, ever be the same again. The same Give the Lord a mighty hand clap. Shout to the Lord. Celebrate for your healing. Celebrate for your deliverance. Celebrate for the Lord has healed you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's welcome Rev. Thank you. Our Father. Let's cry for the man of God. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you. Yes. Clap for Jesus. To be here, you my coffee. May sit in his presence. May get Wow. Word of encouragement. You know, Tuko katika urimwengu. Una yuba yuba. Eh? Murumwegu nafanya nini? Yes. Na kila kitu mutu anaye mbemba. It's fall down. In a study world. Ina yuba yuba. Kila kitu watu anaye mbemba. It's fall. But we thank God for that revelation. If you keep on looking to our Lord, you make a difference. No matter what the people say. No matter our back cloud. Lakitu kimuangaria Yesu, people of God. Watu wataulida nae huyo. Ame pitia wapi. Ame eda anji. Ame faulu waji. Sili ni kumuangaria Yesu. But now you know, in these generations, wanaangaria marafiki. Hata kusikiza wazazi. Hata kusikiza watumishi wa mungu. Lakini wanaangaria marafiki. Most of them, they die. Premature death. They die. Watu wakona maono. Watu mungu wamewaweka. Wawakoe ulimwengu. Wasaidie jamii. Lakini kwa sababu wanaangalia watu. Wanaangalia vitu za ulimwengu huu. They die premature death. But silly, if you keep on looking, our savior, people of God, we will make it. No matter the challenge in this world, no matter the situation, like it to Yesu, who is the author and the finish of our faith, we will make it. Kwa mana yeye, ki is our salvation. So thank you. Tumpigi etena mutumishu wa mungu. Wow. I know this man of God for many years. Miaka mingi tumejuana na yeye. Nekua ni kuwash. Eh? Kila lansha wa. Mafudisho yake. Evening na yangaria. Na mutu. Tumishu wa mugu wa nyamichenga sana. Na hiyo ujuda wake huyo. Na oba ya kwa baka maangelele ya musikia pali mugu wa amemuto. Eh? Kutoka nyuma na bat ino ya nyuma. Na kaletho wa akasoma akawa anijinia. Kwa mana si ni kumuangaria yesu. Hajarishi unaweza shelewa kusoma. Unaweza shelewa kuongea. Lakini ukimwangalia Yesu ana exalelate. Yesu ana exalelate. Wale walikuwa mbele sasa. Wow, una wako nyumba yako. So we thank God. Si ni kumwangalia Yesu. So thank you man of God. Yes, we Pastor Martin. It's good for you to give us now the direction. So that because I can see it's now almost noon, 12, so that you can give us the dialogue. So let's start for Pastor Martin. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor William, for such a wonderful word. I love how you, you've, you've delivered. Kwamba, alianza kusema we are generation 
Z wanajiita generation Z. Kwa hivyo kila kitu Z hatutaki twende chat Z. Ah uta 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 obey mzazi Z. But uh, I love how uh, he has done it kwamba irrespective of situations, irrespective of what you are going through, irrespective whether umekam kwa rich family ama kwa uh, kwa poor background, weka weka focus yako kwa Yesu. Because whenever and every time you focus on Jesus, he will always deliver you. Ninapenda other version says, for he is our deliverer. Yule ambaye anatukomboa. Ile haijalishi umeishi katika hali hizo za kweli. Wakasema kwetu hakuna mtu anaendaga university. You supersede them in the name of Jesus Christ. Utaenda utakuwa na masters. Unajua wacha niwaambie, whatever uh, tunaambiwa hapa ni ukweli. Uh, nikiwa kijana hapo wakati tulianza I, I, I went to Pastor William for classes Vile nitaopalate projector Wakati watuko na screen ilikuwa ile projector Tunaweka, uh, tunaweka hema pale I love to upgrade Tukaweka priority I love to bind vizuri And then mimi nilikuwa nakaa pale na projector Na kutype na kufanya mambo haya yote Nilienda kwa ke kufo lessons Wana yesu wapea sifa I came in this church wakati Unajua you are trying to make life. Sijui utaanzia wapi. Eh? I was like you. Ambia mwingine I was like you. But God changed me. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. It is from here that I went to university after staying for seven years. Kama sijaenda. And now I am one of lecturers. When they are talking of lecturers, I am. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. So you are not you are not forgotten. You are not, it is not too late for you. Wana Yesu wa sifa. Only if you put your focus on Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, last Sunday, nilikuwa nambia Pasi. I, I always call him Pasi. Uh, our overseer. Kwamba, uh, tulipata vijana wa meka hapa. Nika muambia, you know you are, tulianza hivo. Tulikuwa hata church watu wakitokea. Tunakaa pale. Hadi pastor atoke kwa church. Hata kama atatoka six, na sisi tunatoka na yei. Kwa hivyo na it really worked for us kwa sababu uki, ameto, uh, na alikuwa napenda kukaa sana kwa ofisi. Sijui sijaijua alikuwa na discuss hii nini. Walikuwa wanaka unashindwa kwani hao watoki lakini we could not leave before he left. So we we'll stay here until saa zingine anatoka 6 and after ametoka sasa na sisi ndio tuna tunatoka with a, a few of our brothers who are together with us akina pita na wengine na sasa tunatembea 6 hata kama ulikuwa uende date 6 utaenda date gani bwana yesu apee sifa 6 utaenda utaenda kujibamba gani si unaenda home by the time you are getting home it is already dark bwana yesu apee sifa but through perseverance and putting our focus on jesus he has transformed us to who we are today hallelujah you are not an exception if he did for us he can so uh, he can as well do for you hallelujah Bwana Yesu apee sifa. The secret is focus on Jesus. Our theme text was Psalm 119. Eh? That your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Hallelujah. Whenever you have put, whenever you have hidden the word of God in your heart, ata wanakuambia company wanakuambia mazoe si tuende dunda kidogo. And yet, the flesh is saying, Dunda ni mzuli. Hata miu intenda, Sikuizu mnasema aje? Unajua sikuizu etu, Tukakua nasema kubanjuka. Sijui, Saizu hii mnasema aje. Lakini, Kitu ingini na kuambia, Sasa, Ukienda uko, What benefit? Uri yu akwai. Sama tuambia, Because when you trust in God, There is benefit. Lakini wakati umenda dunda, What benefit are you receiving? Hallelujah. Ukianza kutafuta dem, sijui nitafute ule na ule. What benefit will you receive? Hallelujah. But if you put your focus to Jesus Christ, you will surely be what you desire to be. You certainly become whatever you wanted to become. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo, believe in what God can do in your life. And you start declaring that I am blessed, I am favored, I am a winner, I am a conqueror. The positive I am. 
Useme usianze kusema unajua I think how our level says that ali, ali, alikuwa ana ako huko nyuma. Kwa nini mlipatana watu wa, wa hiyo unafuatana huko nyuma? Eh? Ali, alisema he got a D. D lakini yeye anasema he got a D for dear. Ya kukimbia mbio. Eh? Kwa hivyo anatuambia hata kama nilipata D lakini yangu Mungu akaibariki ikakuwa ni D for dear. Yaani anakimbia kama nini? Kama swala, kama dear. Kwa hivyo anatuambia wazungu wakiingia kwa ndege na mimi naingia. Kwa sababu through that struggle hata kama alipata D, it was a D that had a blessing of God. Hallelujah. It is not a matter of getting A. But a, get an A that has God in it. It is not a matter of getting a B. I was in a B class myself. But find a B that has Jesus in it. If you find a D, find a D that has God in it. Now when you have done that, I tell you my brother, my sister, hata kama utapata D, na D ambayo unamuogopa Mungu, hata ule wa A, wewe ndio utamuandika kazi. Hallelujah. Right now our level has employed so many people who got A, wakapata ma B, wakapata na ma, ma C plus na zingine lakini yeye ni wa B. Lakini kwa sababu alimtumainia Mungu, watu hawa wanamfanyia kazi. Hallelujah. It does not matter where, where you are, which level you are. But if you put your focus in Jesus Christ. Somebody mwingine put your focus in Jesus Christ. I wasn't preaching. I was just remind hiyo hiyo imefanya nikakumbuka eh nikakumbuka tulikuwa tunakuja hapa tunaomba tunaenda hata iko siku tulianguka i know he did not know lakini tulikuwa uh, he didn't know and he still doesn't know tulikuwa naenda uh, prayers fasting huko uh, heaven's gate tukiwa na John Asha wale ambao wa east gate wanajua hapa and as we were climbing kwa sababu sisi tuliwacha wengine waende magali kaja sasa sisi tukashindwa tutakaa wapi John ako na motorbike akamwambia haya twende na motorbike but as we were climbing pale heavens gate unajua kuku ana lami siku hiyo hapo eh tukaanguka nikachomwa na na exhaust kwa mugu na tunaenda maombi na tena mimi ndio kiongozi sasa uko na uchungu na ukifika overseer anakuuliza iko wapi maji ya vijana yani na unajikausha utaki ajue amejua leo kwamba nilichomeka kabisa lakini hata ka, ukiwa kwa hiyo uchungu bado unaambia Mungu angalia hiyo haleluya Bwana Yesu apee sifa desire to work for this God he will ultimately make you whatever you want to be eh Mungu wetu is so faithful and he can transform your life haleluya so thank you so much for that ambia mwanzako tuko hapa hadi kesho asubuhi So there is so much to carry home. Tuko na mingi ambayo utapeleka nyumbani. Eh? We, we, we've just begun. We have just begun. So much more is coming. Kwa hivyo, I would like us to stand up. Let us stand up. Let us stand up. Even as we appreciate our, our overseer, we appreciate our teacher. Let us clap them, uh, for them. Aha. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so very much. Ah, asante sana kwa sababu ya hiyo. And therefore wa well, this time nataka tu we shall take a break uh, a tea break. Ni vizuri kuweka hapo. We, we shall take, uh, take our tea break ni nyinyi mlichelewa. Tulikubaliana mfike hapa by 9 uh, by 8:30 ndio 9 tuko tunaanza our meeting. Lakini tumechelewa. Sasa angalia ni masaa gani tunakunywa chai. However, we shall still take our tea because it is ready and then come back for a second session. Hallelujah. Nani amebarikiwa? Ah, thank you, thank you. Ni nani ana, ana, anasikia kwamba hapa haa atatoka hadi abarikiwe zaidi. Amen, amen. Tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya Thank you so much Pastor William. We are as a result of your uh, also of your teachings at times na nilikuwa namwambia the last time tulikuwa pale Shabab. He has been together with us. Eh, pale Shabab. I think almost five years ago tulikuwa naye pale Shabab and he was still teaching us. Hallelujah. So he's done a lot of good work and thank you all here for doing uh on always reaching out for him. Kwa hivyo God bless you so much. Uh, so let us uh, let we let us allow our guests to leave and then oh, uh, the, the the rest of us. 
tutatoka nje pale tutaenda tupange laini pale and we take our cup of tea na we shall not uh, spend a lot of time there we shall only spend like 15 minutes and then come back for a second station hallelujah na in the afternoon i know our director will be coming director of the legion nakuru east region so he will be with, together with us and much much more ile maswali uko naye hiyo maswali uko naye unataka kuuliza ni wapi ninaweza saidika ama hii jambo